Sawa sawa obrigado makadini makadini this is ambassador blakes your boy tv host actor presenter commercial model right here i'm so excited to be on focus amazing amazing and on this particular set i was sharing with uh, vicky vicky bay you're gonna see me with vicky uh she's a great partner uh in terms of screen partner uh when i look at her she's one of those actresses that when you see she has the presence you know even without saying or performing anything she just has that commanding presence and i think for this particular role that she was casted to play uh, she executed it well it was amazing i got to see also um we got new talent on the scene like everybody else uh, i saw sharon in particular i want to say heads off and shout out to her I was uh, joking with the guys behind the scenes and I was telling them, man, we need to lock this pitbull down. You know, when you see amazing raw talent, that's what you see in, in, in Ma Princess. You're going to see on the screen and the delivery, her execution. You can see her commitment, her passion. And some of the things that she was playing out, you think most probably this girl has been to film school. And so you realize that there is that migration of talent, raw talent, and also the expertise that comes in and quickly schools, uh, you know, the new school that is coming onto the screen. So shout out to her. Please, let's support. Uh, let's, let's keep on rolling with her. I also enjoyed playing with uh, Taku. Now, here's the interesting thing about Taku. Uh, Taku in his circles, he's known particularly for being a detective. But on this particular role, we see him playing a dad. <laughs> you know, so you wonder why. You got to be stigmatized to be a detective. And then now you want to play this particular person to be a dad. And guess what? You know, he pulled it off in an amazing way. I wish I could preempt how he played it out this time around. You know, so sometimes, you know, we uh, as writers and producers, we typecast people or even as audience, when we watch people, there are people that we, you know, we segmentize and we say, ah, this particular person only plays this role and can only play this role. And he was given a different role that we're not accustomed to seeing him play. And he played it out top shelf. And, you know, when I look at focus, particularly, uh, you know, before I get into the storyline, I'm talking about the cast. You know, there's a, there's a unique blend where you think it's a rainbow nation because you've got a, a balance uh, that we're seeing here, especially with the affected generation when we talk about, you know, uh, the hot topics that we're, we're interacting with on focus, which is love, sex and drugs. You know, there's a high concentration of these things, especially in this generation and also this feature film coming is timely because it's addressing the issues that are happening right now and the challenges that people are facing and that's why focus is being brought by uh, the screen players so when i look at um, you know uh, the cast the young generation you know uh, we have the likes of kundi you can tell her she has a strong theater background and how she's able to blend the theater coming onto screen and you see the fusion and you know this gives us uh, you know hope and encouragement to see uh, not only the ability to go through an institution it's one thing but also the ability to transfer what they're learning and bringing it into a storyline and bring it alive so she plays a role of a, a daughter and wow amazing 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 not forgetting to tell pell pell is a pell indeed brenda she played it off like gosh that girl can get into character you know there are moments where people are in character and then there are moments where people are in character <laughs> that's an oxymoron right there uh you see her on the screen um her heartfelt passionate acting where you know she it's she's a young girl but she has understood the story she has understood the mandate and this is the kind of actresses that we're looking for people that can grab a hold of you know the black and white ink and put it alive this is what we see in the young girl called brenda you know um also i had the privilege to to take along and just snag billy and say i want to come and watch you know they're the likes look out for chamba uh chamba is on another level these are people that you have not seen on the screen but they're bringing their a game you know and um, so i want to encourage people uh let's look out for focus let's look out for focus 
you know, and coming to the storyline as I, you know, as I tie down my experience with focus, especially this uh, particular season, it's it's a storyline that's addressing the pertinent issues that are happening, especially in our generation. And it's not only a, a feature film, but it's a call to action. You know, I know there are corporates out there, there are people that are well resourced and there are people who, are, uh, who have opportunities, who have um, things that they can contribute, whether it's in terms of uh, set skills that are bringing in money, that are bringing in knowledge, uh, peer education, that are bringing rehabilitation uh, into the society. And through film as well, we can reach out to people and change the narrative. Everybody has to do their contribution. So I would like to call out, you know, on all corporates, all individuals who are saying, we also want to address, and not only address, but we want to readdress the issues that are happening, you know, uh, young ages that are being raped, that are being abused, you know, and also the abuse of substance, uh, the loss of purpose and focus. And so if we can come collectively together as an African people and also on the continent of Africa and share our story and share our resources, we can bring something meaningful. Always, for anything to be great, there are always people that are playing their role and they're playing their part. It would be unfair for me not to mention a great person. I know you'd not like me to say this, but we want to appreciate you. And personally, I want to thank you, Sir Alex, for you know the many initiatives that you're doing, but specifically uh, your hand, your heart, your time, your energy, your ideas, your resources, everything that you've poured out uh, for focus to come into animation, to come alive. We want to appreciate you. We want to also, you know, um, ask you to continue, you know, extending the expansion of the great work. We know that you have a responsibility, you have a mandate. It's not only uh, you supporting the film community and the film industry, but I know it's for a cause. And that cause, uh, it takes people like you who are entrusting people that are credible, people who know what to do with resources, who have a message, who have a story, and they're willing to take the story and the message to the right people, the right audience. Say, Alex, thank you, and please, let's work together on the next chapter. Thank you.